What's up guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In this video, we're gonna quarter saw our first boards on the sawmill. Check it out. So we're gonna grab this oak over here. This is a huge oak and we can't even lift it up with the tractor right now. So we're gonna cut it down a little bit shorter, probably like eight and a half feet. And then we'll use the end of it for cutting some coffee table slabs in the future. So we're gonna measure out eight and a half feet. And I'm just gonna mark this log on both sides of the log so we know that we're cutting down perfectly straight with the chainsaw. Got this large oak log up here on the mill and this is one of the straightest oak logs that we have here at our property i've seen a bunch of people quarter saw on some lumber and i've talked with my buddy nathan at out of the woods forestry head over to his channel and check it out you can click this little thing right here i think right here click that it'll take you to nathan's channel but anyways nathan taught me in his videos how to quarter saw lumber so i'm going to do my best to do that what we're going to do is chop a big top section off, take two nice two inch thick slabs out of the center and then quarter those other pieces and start sawing it quarter sawn so that way it produces the best looking lumber. We're still pretty new in this sawmill game so learning the difference between quarter sawn, roof sawn and straight sawn lumber. I have Nathan to thank for uh, learning what I've learned already. But this is gonna be our first time quarter sawing some boards and we'll see how it turns out. Let's get into it. So you can see here on the end of the log, we basically drew what we're gonna cut. So our first cut was gonna be right here at this top 17 inch line. But by doing that, the top of the sawmill up here was gonna hit the top of this log. So we're actually gonna make our first cut, just a really shallow cut off the top of the log. And then we'll drop down to this 17 inch mark, cut that top slab, cut that next slab, cut that next slab, and then we'll start working with the four quarters.
we got that log cut open, cut two nice two inch slabs out of it. And now we're gonna start working on the quarter sawn boards. So as you can see here, we've got the rings going like this. Sure do you like horse on boards. We we'll really want to do a true quarter saw. Now we need to cut it like, like put a, a wedge in it. Extend it like this, and then and the boards are gonna have like edges on them, but that doesn't matter. But I think we should try it because that's what the point of this video is. For real? Yeah.
All right, so this is the last of that oak log. We cut the wider parts of those final boards to one and a half inches. We have plans to make a really nice solid red oak table. So that's why we cut some of these boards to one and a half inches. These are some really nice boards, as you can see. That's solid quarter sawn red oak. So quarter saw on this red oak was quite a difficult task. I didn't think it was going to be as hard as it was, but trying to figure out how to maneuver the log to basically keep that quarter saw and grain was pretty hard. I don't know how some of you guys do it. I think you make like a little wedge that holds the log. Maybe we need to make some of those or maybe somebody can throw a recommendation on like something they already make to do that. So that definitely took a lot longer than it should have, but we got it done. We basically used pretty much every part of that log. If you look here, this is the only waste we got off that log is this piece, this piece, and this piece. And in all seriousness, I'm gonna take these pieces here and put them in our, our scrap pile for crafts, like if crafts that we wanna make or if any uh, crafters come by the shop and wanna buy some. So there really wasn't any waste on that log by quarter sawing it. And quite honestly, we got some really nice lumber out of it. All right, so we're gonna get these boards picked up, stacked up under cover where they'll be sitting to air dry. I don't know how long it's gonna take, probably like three or four months for these things to dry out properly. We really wish we had a kiln system, but it just isn't in the budget right now. So hopefully as we start selling some of these boards, we can uh, maybe find a partner. Like I know Wood Miser makes a really nice kiln system and then I dry makes another kiln system. So we're gonna see if we can partner with one of them and possibly get a kiln out here so we can start drying this lumber quicker. All right guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.